ties between India and Bangladesh are in a golden phase. New Delhi and Dhaka in recent years have bolstered relations by signing several agreements in the fields of technology, trade, infrastructure, among others. Bangladesh has also been invited to the G20 summit as India assumes the presidency this year. Weon's principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidan Sibol, caught up with Bangladesh's State Minister of Foreign Affairs, Shariar Alam, on the sidelines of the 6th Indian Ocean Conference 2023 in Dhaka. With me is Minister Shariar here in Dhaka. Sir, welcome to Beyond. My first question to you is how do you see India Bangladesh relationship? Uh, they are going through a golden phase, but there must be some challenges as well if you can talk about them as well. Well, there will always be challenges. Uh, you know, neighbors will always uh, will come with uh, challenges, but the uh, uh, historical uh, past and the bondage uh, and especially the progress we have made uh, uh, for almost a decade uh, uh, for now between uh, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and Prime Minister Narendra Modi is unparalleled, uh, incomparable uh, to any other achievements that bilateral neighboring countries has made despite having uh, so some issues. Uh, so we have that but of course uh, we have proper, proper platform to discuss them but achievements uh, has superseded much compared to the challenges, you know, the takeaway from the relationship, especially in the last 10 years, is humongous. Mm -hmm. uh, India has invited uh, Bangladesh for uh, the G20 summit as well. Uh, how do you see this invitation by New Delhi? Well, I, men I said that uh, during the rise in a dialogue that uh, we are very happy about it and grateful to India. Uh, we are the only South Asian country invited. Uh, that goes on to tell you uh, the respect in the relationship and the potential uh, that Bangladesh can bring and the experience and uh, stories that Bangladesh can bring to the G20 table and also goes on to inform this to the other 19 members of G20 and help them find a solution or guide them so that uh, countries uh, in this other region and also uh, LDC countries are not forgotten and still an agenda item in, uh, in G20 tables. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's always a debate uh in the region and outside as well, China versus India. Uh, in Dhaka as well, uh, there must be this debate. Uh, how do you see this debate going on? Uh, who would you favor? I know it's undiplomatic, but who would you favor when it comes to New Delhi or Beijing in terms of your relationship? No, I don't think it's a question of favoring it. It's a uh, bilateral issue, uh, whatever is happening. And uh, you do have a working relationship uh, with China as well. China is a friend too, uh, to Bangladesh in our developmental journey. And they have achieved a lot in engineering, in commercial power, in bringing in raw materials. Uh, the two major countries that we have trade imbalances with is India and China. But the raw materials, uh, I know some of the economists will go and criticize the, those imbalances. But uh, Bangladesh is better utilizing those imports, high import, both from India and China, converting them into value-added product. And we have reached uh, $50 billion uh, plus exports. Uh, so, you know, China is also a friend, but uh, yeah, friendship of, uh, with India is off, uh, at a different level because of the history. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.